good day viewers you are welcome how to solve this nice trigonometry functions we have sine x multiplied by tan x equals cos x and what is the value of x so here we have x as a member of read number so let's see how we solve this for the value of x or let's say all the values of x because x here is something that's continuous so because we are giving sine tan and the cos which are the trigonometry functions so there are many x that will satisfy this let's start so the first thing we are going to do here is suppose we recall from if we have tan x, this is given as sine x divided by cos x. This is an identity we should familiar with. And uh, by replacing it, we are going to have sine x multiplied by sine x divided by cos x equals cos x. Then, sine x multiplied by sine x, this gives us sine square x divided by cos x equals cos x. At this stage, suppose our cos x is not equals 0. So, if cos x not equals 0, then let's multiply throughout by cos x so the first side here we are going to multiply it with cos x multiplied by sine square x divided by cos x equals cos x multiplied by cos x so cos x cancelled cos x then we have sine square x equals cos square x so it makes sense. Then let's record from the another identity as well. So recalling this identity, if we have sine square x, this equals one minus cos square x. So replacing this line with this identity, we are going to have 1 minus cos square x equals cos square x and we have cos square x here which is negative here is cos square x which is positive by adding cos square x to both sides this cancelled as we have 1 equals cos square x plus cos square x this gives us 2 cos square x and next we have so we have 2 cos square x equals 1 so by dividing both sides by 2 we make cos square x the subject of the formula which is cos square x equals 1 divided by 2. Then we need to find cos x, but this is squared. By taking the square root of both sides, we have cos x equals plus or minus the square root of 1 divided by 2, square root of 1 over 2. So this can also be simply written as cos x equals plus or minus 1 divided by root 2 and uh, some can still write it as root 2 divided by 2 any of these two is correct but what are the value of cos x that gives us 1 divided by root 2 there are many so the basic one is suppose I press cos 45 so this gives us 1 divided by root 2 but a is negative 
there is no issue with this negative either positive or negative cos is an even function if we plug in cos of minus 45 it gives us 1 divided by root 2 or we leave it as root 2 divided by 2 but let's write it in the radian so we have 45 here the 45 is the same thing as pi divided by 4 so which means the next one that will come will also be when we plug in uh, the value here cos of that number will also give us 1 divided by root 2 and what are those numbers so the next one will be 3 pi divided by 4 and uh, we still have then followed by 5 pi divided by 4 so this is how it continues like that so in a general form of this we are going to have the value of x equals pi divided by 4 plus n pi divided by 2 so the n here is a member of an integer but what if cos is 0 so the first time I divine that cos is not equal to 0 suppose cos of x equals 0 so we are going to have an undivined expression because when we substitute into the given questions we have sine x multiplied by sine x over cos x so this equals cos x so changing cos x equals to zero we have everything here spoiled so that is we are going to have sine square x divided by zero equals zero so this is undivine at this side so we have to put that condition that cos x is not equals zero and we can't do it in this way so where i let sine square x equals 1 minus cos square x we can actually make cos square x to be equals uh, 1 minus sine square x and we solve for sine instead of cos so this is how we solve this problem thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have another method of solving this that is different from this we can just try and drop it in the comment box so that we learn together see you in the next video never stop learning Bye-bye.